Hi guys, so for the last few weeks I have been having a problem with my T400S laptop. Uh, there's this line going through the screen and whatever I do it doesn't really go away. I can push a little bit and it just starts glitching out. So this has happened before and I have fixed it before and you don't need to buy a completely new uh, screen for it. So let me show you how to do this. So here's how to fix this. Obviously you turn off your laptop first, close it down, take off the battery, and then you flip it over, open it up as far as it goes, and then you pry, just a second, yeah, you pry the little covers from the screws. When have been pried so many times they just fly off, no problem. So then you take out those two screws, put them someplace safe, there we go, and then Next you use some kind of plastic tool so that you don't break anything or scratch anything and you just you just start prying. I would start here because usually it's the easiest to get to and then you just pry it up a little bit You go all around the edge. You have to do, you have to just be gentle. It's, there's no real science to it. You can pry it sometimes a little bit with your fingers. You just have to pull up. There we go. Okay, so this is pried open. Now we can just remove it, put it aside. And so you can see the connector here. Now we have to unplug it very gently. There we go. And just put it aside. And then we just pull out the screen. And now we can just put aside the whole laptop. Here's the screen. So, <coughs> now to open this, you just have to pull back this tape. I have already pulled it out multiple times. So, you just have to kind of find your way underneath. There we go. And just pull it back as far as you can. just put it back or something just so it doesn't get in the way there we go and now I'm gonna start my hot air station okay let us just wait until it gets hot enough Okay, this is at 350 degrees Celsius. And then you're supposed to just... <coughs> sorry. Then you're supposed to just um, heat it up a little bit. Just like if you were trying to reflow something. And just especially focus on those two uh, flat connectors here. 
because these are the ones that usually get broken when something pushes on the screen and that's how your screen breaks like that. At least that's how mine breaks. So you will see that there will be slight bending on the PCB, but don't worry much about it. Just you know, just steadily go through all the components. Don't desolder them. Just just heat them up a little bit, especially especially those ribbons here. And you can see them slightly bending. So that means they're getting hot. And that will reflow the solder on them, and usually that fixes them. Okay, that should be enough. And then wait for it to cool. Okay, by now it seems to have cooled off. So we can just replace the tape that was underneath. Mine is a little bit bent at this point. Because I fixed it like this many times. This is not a permanent fix. This is just something that you do if you don't have the money, like me, for a new screen. So, now that this is put back on, we can just put it put it back in the laptop there we go and then put the connector back it's a little bit tricky I'm just gonna use my tool again Just have to be quite gentle with this, try not to rip off any of the pieces. There we go. Alright, so now you can just put back the put the bezel back on and you just snap it. There we go. To kind of snap it both on the outside part and on the inside part. Sometimes it doesn't want to really fit perfectly. There we go. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's it, and then you just take your screws again, put them back in their places, so just put that here. There we go. Check that everything is well put together, okay, yeah, I think that's good, then the other screw. It doesn't have to be too tight, it's, it holds on by itself. And then you just put back the little thingies. I don't know what they're called, covers I guess. Sometimes you will have to apply a little bit of uh, glue on them, not, not strong glue so that you can access them again. Just some kind of, you know, like paper glue or something like that, something that's very gentle doesn't leave any residue, you don't have to pry it open. 
There we go. All right. So let's see if it works. All right. So time to see if it works. And there we go. It's fixed. See, there's no line. And now you can just move your screen around. No problem. And it will just work. So as you can see, the screen is working now. So you can open it, close it, it won't matter. As long as you just hold on to the top and do it gently, you cannot press here with anything ever, or else it will break again and you will have to fix it again. So this is not a permanent fix, it's just something that you can do if, uh, if you don't have the money to buy a new display. And you have a hot air rework station. And yeah, so thanks for watching then, bye.